My life was just crazy and a mess. Beginning ninth grade, I tried to escape my family and just my home life in general. I met a couple of girls who I just thought I really clicked with. I just ended up in the wrong crowd. I never really felt the comfort of just being me. And when it came down to it, they weren't there for me when I needed them. So I didn't really have anyone to turn to. Well, I was a skater and I hung out with a bunch of skater kids and they're all my best friends. And But uh, when we got into high school, we started uh, doing drugs and alcohol and I got brought into that. I remember feeling the feelings of being high and it felt good at the time, but after, didn't know any sense of direction. I had thoughts of killing myself. I felt lonely. I earned a lot of gratitude and appreciation of others through my performance in hockey. That just left me empty time and time again, which led me to lust and bullying anything to get attention from others. The loneliest point in my life was down in Haiti when it really hit me in the face that my entire identity had been built around the approval of others. Even though I had claimed to follow Jesus, my identity had not been rooted in Christ, and there was just nothing that could fill that hole. You were not meant to live alone. When you sit and dive into the teachings of Jesus, nowhere does it say, do this by yourself or just try to tough it out. No, you and I were meant to be brought together, to learn how to trust each other, to start meeting together and to actually hear from God and move boldly out and tell about all the wonderful things He has for us. And not just us, but all the places, this whole region that we live in. And that's what this year is all about. Forgetting about going through this by ourselves, forgetting about the loneliness and actually learning what it means to live together. To start changing this world one moment, one relationship, and one community at a time.